Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys bought that dip. Like I said, not financial advice. I encourage you guys to do your own due diligence, but if you're just as foolish as me and you just saying, hey, I want to follow what this foolish guy does, I encourage you guys to just take a look at what I'm getting, look into it your own self, you know, do your own research and put in what you are willing to put in. That move right there is already 240, I think, for me. Uh, because of I've showed you guys how much I had and then I kept adding to it. I think I got about 12,000 of those H bar coins. So, and I'm not going to do anything but just sit on my hands. Definitely going to take profit soon. I'm not one of them guys that's going to ever tell you to hold. I'm not going to even give you advice. I'm not saying that even follow what I say. But I'm saying if things I say make sense to you. I hope that you put it in your memory bank and say, okay, that kind of makes sense. I'm never going to hold anything that I feel I can get a profit unless it is something I've already deemed as a long-term investment. And none of these coins I'm ever going to, other than the main ones like Bitcoin, Ethereum, but any of these smaller coins, I would never encourage you guys to keep your money into something that's so speculative when you see profit you should take your profit and then you should learn how to take your profit because you should be taking it off of levels that you see on charts shouldn't just be indiscriminate but if you making two three hundred dollars and you've made it in a matter of days or hours or minutes you should be saying hey this is actually my money i'm gonna take some profit but you guys do what you want with your own money i'm gonna do what i want with mine i'm just trying to be as transparent with you guys show you what i'm doing show you some of the gains that i'm making and showing you guys how you can start making and developing a plan for your own financial freedom i've told you before it's not about what job you do i believe independent contractor we went down on that road but whatever job you got, if you're buying things low and selling it high, you're going to be profitable and you're going to eventually, as long as you keep being financially frugal, you're going to dig yourself out of whatever hole you're in if you're in debt and stuff like that. And if you're in debt, you really shouldn't be investing <laughs> at all. You should be working your way into getting out of debt so that you have money that's free and clear to put and deploy however you want to deploy it. You shouldn't be looking at it and saying, if, hey, if this investment goes up in smoke, I'm going to really be in trouble. If you have to say that, you shouldn't be investing. You should be putting in money that you are fully prepared to lose, and you should be understanding the investments that you're getting into. So you guys stay blessed, having a great day today, which you can imagine. But I will get at you guys. I'm still out here hustling. We ain't. I'm not out the woods, and we ain't out the woods yet. Still got to keep working. This has got nothing to do with what altcoin season can bring. But that's just a small sample of the kind of gains you can get in just a couple days. So that should encourage you guys to really learn about what is this space because you can make some real good money so you guys stay blessed and i will get at you guys later take care